What's up, my friend? Welcome back to the final video of this mini series. It's been a pleasure walking you through how I think about memberships and communities and how I've been able to basically build a, a committed uh, customer base in my membership. Um, these are people who are kind of like-minded. They are all composers and arrangers. These are people who are interacting and encouraging and supporting one another every single day. And I couldn't have done it without really just trying to different things, you know, asking my people what they wanted, uh, having those three core components of content, coaching, and community, and really just being there for my people. You know, a lot of it is, again, they're paying for access to you. They, they want to know that you know that they exist and uh, they, they want that personalized access to you every single step of the way. So that's what usually what you're providing with a community and a membership. And again, it's just a great way for you to not only get to know your students better, but also to have that recurring revenue for your business to help you stabilize maybe those lower months, but also those higher months. And uh, I, yeah, just a great way for you to engage with your people overall. And again, if you're curious about when to actually launch, make sure you launch um, either if your people are really asking for it, if they really want that dedicated community to interact with one another, that's a great way and a great reason to launch a membership community. Or if you have, you know, a thousand, two people, 2000 people on your email list and you already have a couple online courses, but you want to expand into a membership, that's also a great way to do so there. Again, making sure you have those three core components of regular coaching, uh, regular content every single month. So it could be a core training, it could be a PDF every single month, it could be, you know, something, but something for them to digest at the beginning of each month so they feel like they're getting what they paid for and you're helping them get, get one step closer to their destination on their journey. And then number two is making sure they have that regular coaching to you as well. So that's usually coaching calls and, um, you know, answering questions anywhere in the community or through email, whatever, but having the option to jump on you, jump on live with you in a call and ask you questions live, pre-submit questions, hear your voice, hear their name through your voice. All of that is really, really helpful. So they feel that you're there for them and you're answering their questions, right? Very, very important. And the third and finally is to have that exclusive community where they can interact with one another, even if you're not there, um, they can ask each other questions, exchange ideas, support one another. That is essentially what they're staying for at the very end. Um, not necessarily for your content anymore because the community becomes larger than you. It's not just your content and access to you, but it's also access to each other and the culture, the, the relationships they build with one another. Those are all components that are very, very important. And so you want to take advantage of that, you know, in, in terms of building your membership and community, understanding those three core components, making sure they're all in there, that will set the foundation for your community. And then if you want to introduce anything else in there, like giveaways or challenges or uh, things like that, then you can certainly do that to, to really round it out and make it as great of an experience as possible. But overall, I highly recommend making sure you have those core components, then deciding on your strategy for growing the membership deciding on your pricing, right? Is it a hobbyist membership? Is it a professional membership? So is it going to be between five and 40 bucks a month or like 50 to hundred? And then how are you going to launch it? Is it going to be an open close model? So are you launching it every so often with the doors closed in between, or is it going to be evergreen and you're just going to have it open on your website or maybe through your email funnels, things like that. And you know, how else are you going to keep members in there as well? Um, are you going to mention mention their names? Are you going to record like videos for them? Uh, are you going to have founder pricing? Are you going to have an onboarding email sequence? Like all of these things contribute to a great membership. And if you go back and watch all those videos we took a look at, parts one through 14, then you'll understand exactly how I do things um, to make my membership as uh, not profitable as possible, not only as profitable as possible, but as engaging and as much of a safe space for my members as possible. So Ultimately, a great membership and community benefits both you and the customer very, very well. It gives you a chance to have that recurring revenue, but it also gives your members a chance to get to know you on a deeper level and to know each other. And at the end of the day, if both parties win, then that's all the incentive you need to continue this to the long run and really scale this thing up as much as possible. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking around with me on this mini series. Again, let me know as usual if you have any questions about memberships and communities. 
um, either separately or on Kajabi, whatever you want. But if you're ready to kickstart your membership and community on Kajabi, if you want to start this thing, then I would love to give you that extended 30 day free trial. Use my link below ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi, and you'll get access to that extended 30 day free trial compared to the 14 day free trial they give you on their website. Um, it is an affiliate link. So if you become a paying member after the free trial, then part of your payment will support me and the channel. There's no obligation and you certainly don't have to use my link, but you will get that extended 30 days if you use my link below. Uh, in addition, you will also get my two bonus mini course is absolutely free good job in 30 days which you'll get uh, immediately after signing up for the free trial and this will walk you through exactly how to set up things on Kajabi and start making money. And number two is content marketing for creatives, which you'll get after you become a paying member of Kajabi. You can just email me your receipt and I'll forward it to you. And this will walk you through the business model I'm using to, you know, put out content for free, but then monetize my knowledge in the back end. And it's uh, it's super valuable. So both of them I want to give you as a thank you for using my link below. No application, of course, but again, you can get access to that 30 day free trial if you want to use my link below, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate you taking the time. This has been a pleasure to make and a pleasure to go through. And again, let me know if you have any questions along the way. I'm here for your success and I can't wait for you to get started. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again and take care. Bye-bye.